Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So over the last couple of hours, we now have an elf loader for the PlayStation 5 and more specifically if you're using the web kit. So let's just go ahead and let's jump in and take a look at the repo and then we'll go ahead and run it on my PlayStation 5. Okay, so here is the repo and if we come over here and we look, we can see that the work in progress elf loader was committed right around 12 hours and then there's been some extra kind of updates to it since then. Even even including this fixed elf loader port print. So if we go back to the actual repo itself, there is some other thing that I did want to mention in here. And that is, is that there is this new send elf. Now this was committed right around 12 hours ago. And so if you don't want to use any sort of third party application, such as this one right here, then you don't have to do so. The only thing that you will need to do is to come in here to the host and change this to the IP address of your PlayStation 5. Now you'll also need to have Python installed since this is a .py file. And so all of the files are obviously still located in the document in PS5. And here are the files that it currently has. Now I've went ahead and obviously uploaded the new files to my kind of test host. And you can access that simply by going to this URL. Now there is an indicator now that you are on the version 1.01 .01, as it will now say down at the bottom version 1.01. .01. This was something that I was worried about mainly because I wasn't exactly sure if the host that I was using was completely updated to the latest version that was over here on the GitHub site. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the PS5 and let's give it a shot. Okay, the first thing that you will need to do is to go over to settings, go back to network, go to settings and then set up an internet connection. You'll want to come over here and you'll want to go to advanced settings and then just make sure that your primary DNS is set to this right here, which is 165.227.83.145. Once you do that, we just are going to go back. You will see down here at the bottom, I am not on the debug settings. So if we go into user guide, user guide again here, and we're gonna hit yes on that screen. We're going to press the L2 twice. We're gonna go up to the URL redirector, and I'm just gonna to navigate to the crump-youtube.github.io, and I'm gonna press R2 here, and then we're going to submit. And here it goes. Okay, there we get our, this is not enough free system memory. And by the way, this does come with a lot of improvements as far as the speed to actually get the exploit to run. So we'll see how well that works out here. Okay, ready. So before even getting to this screen did take me some time. So I'm gonna hit okay here. It says triggering UAF. Okay, there we go. This was my very first attempt. So I am ex super excited that it was this easy to get to this. So it does say right here, stage six is the elf loader. So right now we do not have any elves that I can currently send over to PlayStation 5. I could go ahead and send an elf that was for the PlayStation 4, but it's going to kick back with an error. But let's just go ahead and let's try it real quick. Okay, and so I am just going to use the third-party application right here because it's a bit simpler. The first thing that you do need to do is you need to add in your IP address to your PlayStation 5. The port, as it said on the last screen that we were on, was 9020. And then for the payload, I just selected a PS4 payload that I had just called ftpmanual.f. This absolutely will not work. You'll just need to press on the Send Payload button. Okay, and here is what happened over on the PlayStation 5. And there is what it says when you send an ELF file that is really not uh, the proper ELF file. So again, this one was for PS4, and it does look like once I did that, 
there was a very quick message down at the bottom that it was malformed or something like that. But I do believe, regardless, I should have access now to the debug settings. So down at the bottom right now, I don't have it. I'm going to come back into settings. And if I scroll down, there we go. Debug settings. So much easier to get nowadays. Okay, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Michael, ow!